Hello everyone. This is my second video log in which I am going to share my experience turning a Ionic application to a Shopify one. So let's get started. So today uh, the plan was how can I turn the Ionic app to Shopify. So whenever I start working on something uh, my plan always includes uh, reusing some code like if I can get uh, already built up code I will try to uh, use that or is if there is some library already available so it is better to start from something uh, rather from scratch so what uh, so i started with uh, using this shopify app cli available it's a great tool and uh, you can uh, really really uh, uh, you can build shopify apps really really fast like uh, it provides the basic uh, necessities that are available uh, that are required so uh, right now it supports uh, scaffolds for uh, node.js and ruby on the rails apps so okay so i went through the basic uh, documentation available so it's quite easy you just need to install the cli and then there are these three commands shopify create and serve open and uh, uh, Shopify creates some basic files for you uh, and it, with, uh, it asks for uh, like what kind of app you want to build uh, so and what's the name of app and uh, and then it generates the basic uh, node app uh, then uh, you can use the Shopify serve command uh, okay the best part is it comes uh, with the ng rope configuration so once you use the shopify serve command it uh, automatically tunnels your application to a public url okay and uh, those of you who are not aware about the ng rope it's a uh, it's a great tool uh, through which you can uh, uh, turn your uh, localhost uh, server url to a secure uh, pub public url through tunneling so through this application uh, i built the basic and, and the idea was to understand the code and uh, maybe i can uh, just use the same code to uh, make uh, to uh, to uh, uh, for my uh, ionic application so i try to understand it and uh, uh, do uh, to, to find areas where we can uh, make changes to it so that uh, we can directly put our ionic app into it and uh, uh, start using it uh, so the code is quite straightforward we uh, we can see like we have the uh, code for server and uh, for uh, the react application uh, the server code uh, here you can find the uh, in server folder the code to uh, uh, create a node server and uh, the auth, auth and uh, some of the operations here and other than that in pages you uh, here you uh, can start building your uh, react uh, react application in a polaris uh, framework uh, and uh, so uh, okay uh, with this uh, uh, I was not uh, I tried a lot but uh, still I was not able to get my application and as uh, the changes uh, I was uh, uh, 
the changes i was up to were not that straight forward and uh, it may have required lots of efforts from my so i dropped that off then uh, uh, okay initially what the uh, it's uh, just to get the app started what i felt was let's get started with uh, using the ng rope for the app that is serving on localhost so i used the ng rope uh, plugin and other than that i uh, started with the average adding average to my application so uh, uh, with my uh, first try with uh, this plugin uh, i was i got numerous errors as the plugin was not supporting the typescript version uh, that the application was having so uh, uh, most of the time uh, it happens with me with uh, any other application what i try to do is to downgrade some of the uh, earlier version so i did for the same but uh, from uh, 1.27 uh, i went to 0.x versions but with no luck till 1.0 version uh, it, uh, i got the similar errors and after that i noticed that uh, it was more of a, a react uh, react version of the average uh, so this was something that uh, uh, consumed my lots of work uh, lots of uh, time today and uh, so uh, today i was uh, again uh, with this i was not able to get any further so let's see what i can do uh, for the coming days okay so that was all for today thank you